Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today as a part of this series, right, the first topic I want to talk about is the user adoption. Now, user adoption is very important uh, from a, uh, just to gauge uh, whether your implementation have gone successful or not. So let me give you an example, right? So let's say um, you implemented Salesforce um, at, at, at some customer place, right? because they had a problem and they wanted to use Salesforce uh, and they assumed that Salesforce will solve the problem for them, which is great, fantastic to use Salesforce, the right thing to do. Now, they wanted to ensure that whether the plan, everything is going according to the plan. So what I'm, when I meant by, when, when I talk about the plan, right, it means whether the users are actually using the functionality, right? Whether they are finding it comfortable uh, in uh, using the Salesforce features that's been implemented. Uh, let's say, um, you know, uh, they wanted to, the, as a, the CEO of a company wanted to make sure that, okay, we wanted to measure uh, adoption rate from a user, right? So for instance, they wanted to check the login uh, rate. They wanted to check the opportunities that got created. They wanted to check the accounts that got created. Uh, they wanted to check the cases that got created, right? And everything, uh, is getting used in the Salesforce because uh, it might be the case that they might have a different system before in place, uh, which was used to create cases, which was used to create opportunity. Now things have moved to Salesforce. Now they just wanted to make sure that whether the users are really creating the case uh, in Salesforce or they're using a, a different system to do so. Uh, so adoption, uh, user adoption involves few things, right? It's just not that once you implement a feature to say, hey, this is the documentation, just go and figure out. That's not how it works, right? You need to have a training strategy in place because they, obviously if you're a, a user from a different technology, you might find it a bit difficult to migrate to a different technology, right? Because I give you a very simple example. Um, I did an implementation for an ERP system, right? I just don't want to mention it. Um, and they were migrating that from SAP to a XYZ ERP. Now, SAP has certain functionality, a certain keystroke, and a certain way of doing things, right? For instance, end of day reporting or you know, whatnot. Now, the user who wanted to, now when we started training the user, right, in the new ERP system, the user would like pretty hesitant. They said, oh, I could do that in SAP this way. I could do that in SAP that way. The keystroke doesn't work. I used to do control P for printing. Now it doesn't work here. Why it's not doing, why not, right? You will see a lot of hesitation from the user, um, especially if they've been working on their product for, let's say, for 20 years. They will not be, uh, happy to move to a new system and with, and to adopt a new way of doing things. I can tell you first-hand experience, uh, right, from my first-hand experience. So you, you might experience similar challenges when you are you're considering the user adoption, right? It's very important. So the right training is very important. And uh, the training, uh, when, when we talk about the training, right, it's just not only about you know, uh, showing uh, things, um, uh, you know, differently, but just to make them understand that, right, different systems behave differently. For instance, I always give this example, right? If you are an Android user, you cannot ex expect a similar look and feel when you go to an iOS. Both are different technology, different operating system, though both, you know, performs similar functions like both can make a call, both can send text, both have an app exchange platform like Google has the Google Play Store, iPhone has, you know, an app exchange place, you know, so, uh, you know, users need to be uh, educated about that, right? So whole point of user adoption is all educating the user, right? Now, what you can do as an admin or what you can do as a CEO or what you can do as a, you know, owner of this product, right? Owner of this, uh, not the product, in fact, the owner of this org, is that you can uh, implement dashboards or, or you can build your own dashboard or you can look for app exchange product like I'm using this app exchange product where you can actually see active sales with user um, login by different region. So this is just a very simple one, right? You can do uh, different things, but um, so you can build your own 
um, log into uh, dashboard to see, hey, the number of opportunity created per month, number of uh, cases created this per month by different users. Um, you can also um, look for uh, data integrity as well, right? For instance, um, you know, obviously I do get the fact that, right, when you create an account or opportunity, uh, you don't really have to put uh, values in the non-mandatory fields, right? So you can fill in the required fields and you can save the information. But that's not always right, in my opinion, right? Because you might need certain information for certain things, even though, you know, it's not mandatory, but you can always make it mandatory, or if you don't want it to make it mandatory, it just forms a part of the user training to make sure they enter the right information, even though it's not mandatory, right? And if you're not seeing that, right, that's also part of a user adoption uh, challenge, uh, which company might face, right? You just need to educate the, the users, you know, or the people who are going to use the system. Hey, this feels, even though it's not required because for whatever reason, uh, but I will still prefer you guys to enter that right information if that information is being given to them, right? So that kind of things goes into user adoption. And user adoption is very essential for the success of a product, of success of an implementation project, right? Because if the user's not, go not going to use it, right, then it's no point in implementing a solution, um, you know, by spending millions of dollars and if no one's going to use it, right? So that's why a user adoption uh, plays an important role. And like I said, you have different ways to engage with the user, different ways to measure user adoption, like in the form of dashboard or the right amount of training. Um, the training depends, you know, it's a case by case. There's no one size fit for all solution here. So, so yeah, this is, in my opinion, it's very important, right? So that's pretty much I wanted to cover. And now this is just an introduction uh, to this uh, beautiful course. And I think that this course is going to be available to technology people or non-tech people, right? Because this is all the things which is really matters, right, at the end of the day, which really matters after all. So that being said, hope you guys have an amazing Monday. Adios.